Hello everyone and welcome back to Call of Duty News, the only place you can find the top news stories Call of Duty related. It's been so long since I've been in the studio here. I mean, we haven't had any news to report on. We've been on a little hiatus, but we are back because we got some juicy Call of Duty news action. Obviously, not everything's gonna be Call of Duty related. I mean, there's only so much you can report, to be honest. But for our first story, we're gonna be talking about a SOAR member. You guys know SOAR. It's a big Call of Duty organization. Probably one of the worst in history, in my opinion. We've reported on them before as being racist for kicking black people and now one of their own members he made a little oopsie on stream let's take a look bitch say i ain't got money say i ain't got money god damn what the f You also gotta love how his drunken thoughts just go into full thumbnail mode thinking, Oh, I can make this a video. Look at it like this. Ooh. So yeah, guys, that was Sore Carl. Um, he was kicked from Sore after this happened. Uh, as you can see, he was streaming on Twitch and he was drinking. And he did a negligent discharge. He basically racked the slide back so it cocked the gun. And then he pulled the trigger. These are the type of people who give a bad rep to guns in general because at the end of the day a gun is just a tool it's no different than a pencil but the way you use it is what makes it bad so this is just stupid so after watching the video it's apparent that he knows little to nothing about firearms which it's sad because a lot of people who own guns don't even know how they function or operate properly so here I go I'm gonna demonstrate it right here now this is a Glock 19 similar to what Sor Carl used in his video um, to make sure it's empty, you have to take the magazine out. There's bullets in the magazine. To make sure the chamber's empty, which I think he tried to do but he failed, is rack the slide back. So if there was one in the chamber, it would pop out. And if you don't see it, you can visibly check to make sure there's nothing in the chamber. Rack the slide back, make sure there's nothing in there. And you would never want to dry fire it. He was so stupid to dry fire it. But I'll basically demonstrate what he did. All right, there's one in the chamber. He pulled it back, there it goes, and look at that. There is now another one in the chamber, which you can visibly see if you pull the slide back. So don't do what he did and be stupid. Being in possession of a firearm while intoxicated is a crime, so you can get charged with that. And I hope I hope he does, he's a stupid idiot. All right, our next news comes from a Twitch streamer, Elenity. She's been in the news in the past for abusing her cats and animals. She gave her cat vodka, which is very poisonous to their stomachs and shit. And she's just an all rat bad person and she hasn't had any repercussions from Twitch for her actions. Literally no bans, no suspensions, literally nothing because she's too busy sucking them off when she's off camera. But she's in the news because her cat finally got revenge and attacked her and it was probably the most satisfying thing I've seen in a while. Don't wanna miss a thing, cause even when I dream of your... And for our first Call of Duty related news, uh, World of War Ground Wars are apparently now a thing. That's right, I saw on Twitter that Pewee said he started World of War Ground Wars by messaging randoms and stuff. And I thought that was pretty cool. I even thought about hopping on and playing. But then I saw pictures and screenshots of the lobbies that he has and just the players in there. It's not even worth it. I would not recommend playing with that lobby. It just looks like cancer, in my opinion. But guys, that's that's pretty much all the news. I mean, there's not really called any news really recently. Um, it's ever since Region of On came out, no one's really made any videos or played. I think everyone's just kind of taking a break or they're tired at this point. Uh, even people who play Modern Warfare, you know, they're bored of the game. I mean, I, I, I was bored after like a week, but you know, it's just not, everything's stale. Until Battle Royale comes out, I'm not going to play that game much. But it's coming out soon, so if any of you want to play with me, Battle Royale, Modern Warfare, hit me up. Um, message me on Twitter if you have any news related stuff for Call of Duty. And uh, the World of War Dueltage is coming out soon, so be on the lookout for that. I finally got the thumbnail sent to me by Sacred Preston, the homie, so I'll actually show you the thumbnail now. Boom! 
I absolutely love it. It's 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 amazing. And I've seen the opener and closing section for the Dual Taj. It's going to be insane. So be on the lookout for that, guys. And uh, that's about it. Oh shit, guys, I almost forgot. We have our very first sponsor on the channel. I know, very first sponsor on the channel for Call of Duty News, and it is E Advantage, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, guys, I have my own E Advantage sponsorship. This is not a joke, this is legitimate. So go in the description and buy E Advantage with code LOGS for a discount. This is what makes me hit all these crazy, insane clips that you see in my videos. I mean, this shit is amazing. I haven't even tried it yet, but I was paid to say this. So definitely go buy some. It is not, it will not cause cancer, trust me. There you guys have it. That's the news today. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, deuces.